Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm a computational biological engineer, and I'll be your instructor for this course. To get started, let's start by recapping some definitions. Recall that a network, which is also known as a graph, is comprised of two sets, a set of nodes and a set of edges. We often draw graphs as circles joined by lines, where the circles represent some real-world entity, such as individuals in a social network, and the lines denote some relationship between the entities, such as being connected as friends in the social network. A graph can be directed or undirected. Previously, we saw some examples of undirected graphs, such as Facebook. If I request to connect with another person on Facebook, once the other person accepts the friend request, we immediately connect and no direction is implied, thus it is an undirected graph. On the other hand, if we look at the Twitter network, I may choose to follow another user, but that user may not necessarily follow me back. In this way, the Twitter social network is a directed network. In Python, there is a package called NetworkX, which contains a library of classes and functions for the creation, analysis, and manipulation of graphs. In the previous course, we showed you some of the basics of the NetworkX API and applied those functions to case studies. Let's take a quick look at the basics of the API to refresh your memory. As always, we must first import NetworkX into our Python session. Suppose we had a graph G that already exists in memory. If I want to know how many nodes exist in that graph, I can call on G's method dot nodes, which will return a list of every node in the graph. The analogous method dot edges also exists. Because both dot nodes and dot edges return a list, it is thus possible to get the length of each of those elements. Len G dot nodes gives us the number of nodes in the graph and len g dot edges gives us the number of edges in the graph. Using these two lines of code, we can start describing a graph's basic statistics. If you remember, there were multiple types of graphs, and we can check the type of the graph by doing type g, which in this case is a regular graph object. Other graph types include digraph, multigraph, and multidigraph. Previously, you also learned about the NXViz package, which is a package I wrote that provides a simple API for the visualization of large complex networks in a rational fashion. Rational visualizations prioritize the node's placement. This allows us to create beautiful visualizations such as the matrix plot, the arc plot, the circles plot, and the hive plot. We will be using the circles plot the most in this course as I personally think that it has the best combination of aesthetics and functionality. To use the circles plot, you must first import NXViz and matplotlib's pyplot as plt. Then you can instantiate a new plot object, passing in the graph g. After that, you'll have to call the dot draw method of the plot object. Finally, call the plt.show function to get the plot to be drawn to screen yielding beautiful network diagrams like the ones below. Once you're done with the coming warm-up exercises, we'll come back to explore a new topic, bipartite graphs. Have fun with the exercises.